Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another Q&A Wednesday here on Jessica Smith TV. This week, we are tackling a question that I get asked about often, and it actually has a kind of confusing answer. So let's get right down to it. The question is, does working out with an empty stomach burn more fat? So a lot of you guys write me and say, hey, you know, I've heard that if I work out first thing in the morning and I don't eat first, my body's gonna burn more fat, which means I'll lose weight faster. Does that mean I should always do this? Well, my answer to this is it depends. It's not a very clear answer and let me explain why. Here's the rationale behind this. So the idea is that if you're not fueling your body beforehand, it allows your body to tap into your fat stores more quickly to burn more fat during your workout. Now there is some science to back up this concept. So I'm gonna read this part just to make sure that I don't leave anything out. So one 2013 study in the British Journal of Nutrition found that subjects who exercised first thing in the morning on an empty stomach did burn 20% more fat than those who had breakfast first. And another study published in the 2010 Journal of Physiology found that sweating before eating may help prevent weight gain and maintain insulin sensitivity, especially if you're eating a fat-rich diet. The subjects they studied were actually intentionally all fed a very high sugar and high fat diet during the study to better demonstrate the positive effects, if any, of working out with eating. So that kind of leads you to think, okay, well maybe that this is a good idea. Hold on here, so listen to this other research that says maybe it really doesn't help. So another separate report that was published in the Strength and Conditioning Journal in 2011 found that your body burns on average the same amount of fat whether you're eating before or after a workout. Not only that, they also found that you are more likely to lose more muscle and experience a drop in the intensity and overall calorie burn of your workout when you do exercise on an empty stomach. What's more, another 2002 study found that women who consumed 45 grams of carbohydrates, and they did this via a carb-rich drink that they had prior to working out, ended up eating less calories overall for the rest of the day. Are you confused? Me too. So here's the deal. There's science that supports both ideas. So this is where I really encourage you to turn this back around on your own body's personal preferences and needs. So many of you wake up early, you work out first thing, and you just can't stomach eating something before a workout. So if that sounds like you, and you can get through your workout with plenty of energy without feeling dizzy or lethargic, then this might be a great idea for you. However, if you're one of those people, I am included in this group, where if you don't eat beforehand, you really start to feel lethargic, sometimes you get dizzy, you might even get a little bit nauseous, then it may not be the best idea for you. So here on Jessica Smith TV, we always encourage you when you hear this kind of research and information and workout advice, to really make sure that it makes sense for you and your personal needs. Because as we can tell, even the science is very contradictory. When it comes to my personal schedule, I don't necessarily eat just before or just after a workout. I personally find that for me, eating just three square meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then fitting in my workouts somewhere in between works best for my body and my schedule. So I really encourage you to keep finding, keep researching, experiment, try different things until you find what works best for you. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you have a question for me that you'd like to have answered in an upcoming Q&A Wednesday episode, please be sure to leave it for me in the comments below. And as always, I love hearing from you guys, so let me know, what do you find works best for you? Do you like to eat before a workout? Do you like to do it on an empty stomach? What have you found works best for your body? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for remembering to subscribe to our channel, like and share your favorite videos, and we'll see you next week for another Q&A Wednesday. Take care, everybody.